okay i'm going to show you how to install apache tomcat so i already download the installer you just click next i agree next and then um, since i already used this port i have to change it to the 8081 click uh, create shortcut for all users click next and then you need to provide the the home the location where you install the jdk and uh, i already uh, installed it and this is the location jdk um, 15.0.1 okay click next and then um, just install and going to, to take a very short time so click uh, this is uh, let it default yeah setting and then um, this is the attempt to start the services and then you should be able to see the icon here uh, the icon here uh, you can start and uh, stop the services now next what you need to do is to copy all the jar files okay um, these two files uh, at uh, copy to the C uh, the location where you install uh, the Tomcat and then um, library and then paste it here paste it here okay continue continue okay now uh, next what you need to do is to um, do the uh, advanced setting yeah? uh, click the environment variables so here you need to create uh, a new system variable so i already created this one yeah so what you need to do is to create the variable name catalina homes and give the value as uh, the home where you install the apache tomcat and click ok and another setting that you need to do is to uh, add this uh, the bin yeah? uh, the home uh, in bin huh? uh, the path yeah? uh, of uh, the apache tomcat and then uh, click ok ok so click ok so now what you need to do is to um, uh, stop the services first uh, and then you start uh, restart eh, to restart uh, the uh, the services because we want it to um, read the new settings eh? the new settings eh, we, that we have done it so um, just uh, type at your browser uh, localhost 8080 so you should be able to see this file eh? this is the JSP, index.jsp so now what you need to do is to um, uh, view uh, let's take a view the uh, the, the tomcat eh? uh, the file structure eh? so this is the location see this is uh, all the, the structures of the um, the Apache uh, Tomcat so click web apps so you should be able to see the root of uh, folders here so this is the location where you need to uh, upload uh, or sorry to uh, store all your scripting JSP scripting files here so um, let's take a view of the properties of these um, folders so this folder is actually owned um, by let's take a look at this um, it's owned by the administrator so in order um, because I'm uh, logging as a different users so I need to change the uh, the owner of this files to the, uh, the other accounts yeah okay which is uh, this is my um, account so I need to click this uh, click apply then ok and then um, ok so I need to give the full control of this folder uh, to the users and just click edit here and take full control apply and ok so ok so let's um, view again and change the attributes here uh, and tick the read only and then apply ok then ok so now let's open up the edit class ok uh, so this is the trial version for 30 days yeah? so you can click this new and then uh, click others uh, JSP ok since I have already prepared the script so I can just uh, copy all the script, in, script here 
Okay, um, so this is um, the way how we can connect to the uh, Oracle. So I, uh, we can we try to connect it to the uh, the HR schemas. Yeah. So save it as the um, test. So where is the location where we have to store it at the root? Yeah. This is the location. Yeah. Uh, Tomcat web apps and the root. Yeah. So save it as a test. Okay. So let's open the files. Uh, so there you go uh, it is a success successfully connected